kung mahal tayo ng Diyos, bakit mas marami ang naghihirap sa mundo? Hindi naman yung pagmamahal ng Diyos yung nagbago. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. How to live a purposeful life. Always be. Living a purposeful life is... Ano ang failure sa'yo? Alam mo, ang Miss Universe yung mga tanong na ganito. <laughs> failure sa akin. Ang um, failure is... Uh, ikaw, ano ang failure sa isang RDR? Um, tanong ka ng tanong sa amin? Ikaw talaga! <laughs> Bakit mo? Ang hirap nga nung tanong. <laughs> <laughs> mahirap nga! Ngayon ko next video, mahirap nga. <laughs> De, pero sasagutin natin yan. Okay. Alright, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, mga boss. Probably, unang tanongin natin si Coach Ras. Ano ang success para sa iyo? Simple lang, huwag maging mabigat kung nasaan ka. Higit sa lahat, nag-grow ka araw-araw to create an impact. But more than that, be someone who has an influence that will create a better place while you're still here. Thank you so much. Palakpaan mo natin. How about same question, Boss RTD? Success is freedom to do what you want to do at any given time. And that success is not defined with how many zeros you have in the bank, but how much happiness that you're accumulated within yourself and the capability of sharing it to the people around you. Pinaka greatest form of success is leaving a legacy. And that is what I'm pushing forward. My legacy is my currency. All right. Palakpakan natin, Boss RTD. Ayan. How about you, Ma'am Ems? For me, success is more of being fulfilled in your life and knowing that you're living your purpose and just doing what you love and that you're happy about it and helping out other people. So that's success for me. Boss Mix. Well, alam natin lahat na meron tayong kahinaan. Alam natin na pinanganak tayo with different draws in our cards. Para sa akin, ang success, despite getting a bad hand in life, you make do with it. You get better and better each time. Ang success is mailabas mo yung tunay mong galing kahit mahina ka, kahit may pagkukulang ka. At kung mailabas mo yun, makita ng iba at mabuhayan sila ng pangarap dahil nakita na despite the weakness, you still able to do it. Coach Chinky. Alam mo, pang Miss Universe yung mga tanong na ganito. <laughs> Hindi, yung tagumpay talaga, very subjective yan. Yes. Diba? Ang tagumpay sa iba, yun, pera o oras na pamilya. May mapatunayan sa buhay. Lahat po tayo dito, huwag tayong mabulag at ipamuhay ang buhay ng ibang tao. Kung para sa'yo ang tagumpay, eh yun na nga, makapag-provide lang sa pamilya mo na simple lang buhay. Kahit wala kang malaking bahay, masaya yung buong pamilya, tagumpay. Alam mo problema, RBR, at sa lahat mga coaches, pagpilit natin hanapin ang mga bagay na wala sa atin. Ay, napakalungkot ang buhay. Pero kung bibilangin mo lang araw-araw, kung anong biyaya sa atin ng Diyos, at marunong kang magpasalamat, ikaw ay matagumpay. Grabe. Palakpakan natin, Boss Chinko Tano. Pangalawang tanong, ano ang failure sa'yo? Failure sa akin, feedback na hindi mo pa natutunan yung dapat mong matutunan para umasenso ka sa buhay. So which means if you're not yet where you are to be, where you are right now, don't look at it as a failure because failure is just an event. You will only become failure if you give up. So no one really fails, people just give up easily. Thank you so much. Palakpakan natin si Coach Ras. Boss RTD. When you die, sa lapida, may nakasulat dyan. The day that you were born and the day that you died, the most important is the dash. What did you do on that dash? There are a lot of people, I think failure is when you live because you just want to survive. Everybody dies but not everybody actually lives. Because most people are just living because they just want to exist. And I think if you're living a life just to barely exist, that in itself is failure. Kasi, sabi nga nila, di ba? You only live once. But I disagree. You die once, but you live every single day. But most people don't choose to live because something is stopping them from actually living. The worries, the pain, the baggages, revenge that they want to live up to. The thing that they want to achieve before becoming happy. Pag naabot ko to, pag naprove ko sa kanya, masaya na siya. Masaya na ako. And failure is living that dash if it was not worth it. Okay lang magkamali, okay lang. But in your deathbed, if you can actually say that I've lived a full life, that is not a failure. Palakpakan natin, grabe. 
Coach Ems? Um, failure is part of a journey. Sa buhay natin, talagang mangyayari at mangyayari yung failure na yun. Pero ang importante kasi yung after the fact ng failure na yun. Anong ginawa mo after? Nag-strive ka ba? Bumangon ka ba? Or nag-stay ka na lang dun at tumambay ka na lang dun? So, it's the journey itself. And makikita mo, pag you look back, na ang dami mo naman palang failures, pero ang layo na rin ang narating mo. It's okay to fail. As long as there is progress in your life, and happy ka dun sa progress na yon and you make sure na you strive harder to live a purposeful life. Thank you. Grabe, palakpakan natin si Boss Emerald Bihag. Ayan. Boss Mix? Naalala ko nun sa Military Academy, yung commander namin binuhat yung isang kadete. Squinel Yohan, susuko ka na! Nagano'n siya, ginagano'n siya. Madali sabi si kadet, sumuko. It was painful. Perhaps, pag may challenge kayo sa buhay, masakit. But remember that pain is temporary. But quitting, that's forever. And let me phrase to you something that let me survive the toughest challenge sa Military Academy. Reciting this poem, is it okay if I share it with you? Kasi baka pag dumaan ka sa pagsubok, ito yung magtawid sa'yo. Sabi doon, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are trudging seems all uphill, when your funds are low and your debt is high, when you want to smile but you have to sigh, when life is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must. But don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns. And every one of us sometimes learns that often the struggler turns about face. What he might have won had he stuck it out. Do not give up when the pace seems low, for you may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver tint in the clouds of doubt. And you can never tell how close you are. It may be near, but it seems so far. So stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. It's when things get worse that you must not quit. Naintindihan niyo? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Boss Chinky. Parang gusto ko nang i-memorize yung The Tree. I mean, The Tree na poem. Grabe, doon ako bumaksak. Hindi talaga. Hindi ko, ang galing nito talaga. Ha, 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 ha. Seriously, let's be realistic. Magpakatotoo tayo. We all want to avoid failure. Because failure is pain. Pero failure is not the person. It's a one-day event. Hindi pagkatao mo ang nag-fail. Nag-fail ka lang sa ginagawa mo, sa negosyo mo. At saka please lang naman sana. Kung mahirap ang sitwasyon mo ngayon, wala kang pera, huwag mong sabihin mahirap ako. Mahirap lang ang sitwasyon mo, pero hindi yung pagkatao mo. Talungin niyo ako bakit. Kasi pag nagkapera ka, hindi ka na mahirap eh. Are you guys learning? Yes! Pangatlong tanong. Ikaw, RDR, what is failure? Ayan, 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 ayan. Tanong ka ng tanong sa amin. Ikaw talaga! <laughs> uh, ikaw, ano ang failure sa isang RDR? Ang failure para sa akin, it is success. Parehas po yan. Bakit? Hindi mo maiintindihan ang success kung hindi mo naranasan yung failure. That's it. Yes! Alright. Ano? <laughs> ano? Okay. Okay. Ano, Darbs? Ano? Thank, thank you, Miss Manila. <laughs> for that uh, wonderful answer. Uh, Alright, pangatlong tanong. Kung mahal tayo ng Diyos, bakit mas marami ang naghihirap sa mundo? Gandang tanong. Uy, grabe. Lalim. Ito ang aking personal na sagot. No? Number one, hindi naman yung pagmamahal ng Diyos yung nagbago. Yung pagkakakilala natin sa Diyos yung naiba. Kasi para rin yung kung mapagmahal ng Diyos, bakit ang daming religion nag-aaway? Nagbago bang pagmamahal ng Diyos? Hindi. Pero yung pagkakakilala natin sa Kanya nagbago. Maraming naghihirap kasi ang pananaw nila na natutunan lang din nila sa magulang nila, na natutunan lang din nila sa magulang ng magulang, na natutunan lang din nila sa nga na yan, no? Is, anak, ito lang tayo. Anak, ito lang yung pangarap natin na naging cycle kasi yun yung naitanim ah maybe kaya ako mahirap kasi ito daw yung will ni Lord pag ginamit mo na si Lord sino pang kukontra sa'yo pangalawa ang mahal daw ni Lord yung mahirap o pag ginamit mo na yung pagmamahal ni Lord sa kahirapan paano ka pa kukontrahin yan wala na so hindi ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon ang nagbago. Bakit? Yung mga taong meron bang mga mahirap na yumaman? Ano ang difference? Nagtiwala. Merong mga nagtiwala. Merong mga nag-hard work pero hindi nagtiwala. Anong ending? Hindi pa rin naging successful or hindi pa rin yumaman. Sabi nga, no? If grace is an ocean, lahat tayo malulunod. Pero bakit maraming nagihirap? Kasi maraming gamit baso lang para sumandok. Tapos, pag inom, sasabihin, kawawa naman ako. Sabi ni Lord, 
Bakit ka ba nagre-reklamo? Eh, ayan yung ocean. Ba't di ka sumagap ng sumagap? Magagalit ba siya kapag sumagap? Hindi. Bakit? Kasi nag-uumapaw. Hindi naman nawala yung pera eh. Nalipat lang sa mga tunay na naniniwala. Wow. Thank you so much, Coach Mix Flores and Coach Ras. Siguro I'd like to take a look at this on two kinds of hirap. May isa hirap sa pera, isa hirap sa buhay. Kaya yung hirap sa pera, ako kasi lumaki ako yung hardcore na blessed are the poor for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. Can you imagine pag nagsisimba kami, meron ka maayos yung pamilya ko, pero pag nagsisimba kami, hindi ka pwedeng kumorma ng masagana kasi nga, we took the blessed are the poor for they shall inherit the kingdom of God, literally. Can you imagine the shame, guilt that I associate myself with money? The last money block na narilis ko sa buhay ko nung hindi pa ako nag-earn ng 7-8 figures, isa lang po. What would my Christian friends say about me if I am very, very rich? And that was what I released. And the moment I released that, the 7-8 figures income was just flowing in my life. So that's one. The second here is yung hindi lang hirap sa pera, but hirap sa buhay, which means health, relationship. It's simply because, again, ego. We all live in ego. And ego stands for edging God out, which means if anything is going on for your life na mali, kini-question mo siya, rather than, Lord, what are you teaching me? How can I expand myself more? How can I be a blessing to the world? And in fact, the biggest trouble of humanity right now is really taking a look at on heaviness in the heart simply because we forget the last seven words when he was crucified. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. So kung hirap ka sa buhay mo, not financially, but in other aspects, simply because maybe you carry a lot of shame and guilt of what happened in the past that you might want to consider to release right away. Because my God is a God of abundance and the reason why abundance is not coming into my life because I don't know how to forgive. Thank you so much. Was our TV? Bakit may naghihirap? Siguro I would like to put it in a manner where lahat ng individuals is either just made of potatoes or made of eggs. And yung hirap is boiling water. Pag nilagay mo daw yung patatas sa boiling water, it's gonna be mushy after. But a hard-boiled egg, when you put it in the water, it's gonna be hard. So basically, yung hirap is just a design to see what you're made of. Are you made of potatoes or are you made of eggs? God wants us to be strong. And, and strength can be achieved through the difficulties in life. You will not appreciate the sweet until you know how the sour tastes like. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. And that was given to us for us to have strength. Kasi you will never meet a strong person with an easy past. That's it. Thank you so much. Boss Ems? There are plenty of resources for everyone in this world. So, ang naghihinder lang talaga sa atin is our ability to think na para sa atin yun. Like yung sinabi ni Coach Mix na yung nasa dagat, nasa ocean. So, lahat kasi yan para sa atin naman eh. So, nasa sa atin yun kung paano natin siya kukunin. So, ang naghihinder talaga, hindi naman yung si Lord papunta sa atin. It's more of us hindering ourselves para kunin yung resources sources na yun. Which comes yung mga culture, pinanggalingan natin, na pag mayaman ka, masama ka, yung mga ganyan. So, na-instill yan sa utak natin from kinanununuan pa. Kaya, may mga mahihirap na hindi makaalis doon. Boss Ems, thank you so much. Coach Mix. God could have created a world wherein this doesn't happen. Pwede, wala tayong problema, hindi masakit ang ulo natin ngayon. But you know what? What God gave you? He gave you free will. Comes abuse. With free will, comes in action. With free will comes the choice that just to watch Netflix. Yung mahirap, alam mo ang sagot din doon, free will. And ayun din yung reason ko bakit maraming mahirap. So it's not God's fault. It is the person's. Right. Thank you so much. Coach Chinkitan. Everyone, please say perspective. Perspective. Depende sa perspective mo. Kasi perspective natin, pinapahirapan tayo. Pero dapat makita mo sa perspective ng Diyos. Naniniwala ba kayo sa pasabihan? God discipline those He loves. Magulang. Sino magulang dito? Didisciplinahin mo ba yung anak mo? Pagmahal mo. So, pag pinapalo mo yan, masakit eh. Para sa anak, ba't mo pinalo? Minsan, ganun din tayo. Mahal tayo ni Lord eh. Kaya tayo din disiplina. And then next, naniniwala ba kayo that God is abundant God, that He wants to bless us? Yes. Yes or no? Ito yung realidad. Since mahal tayo, gusto niya tayong pagpalain, pero hindi niya pagpapalain ang isang tao hindi pa handa. Imbis na pagpapala, minsan nagiging sumpa. Mas mabuti pa, nung walang pera, buo ang pamilya. Nung nagka-pera, dumami ang pamilya. <laughs> Yan nagigits nyo. I'll close with this. God tests before He blesses. Palakpakan natin. Grabe yun. No? Last question coming from me and then from the audience. Okay. How to live a purposeful life? 
always be of value. Never about money, always about purpose. Because sabi ko nga, purposeful living is about the impact and the value it gives to people. And so it relies on two things. Number one, a value that is so good. Bakit? Kasi meron akong value na pwedeng ibigay pero pangit. Ayaw yan tanggapin ng tao. Akala nung iba basta tumulong, okay na. Ang tanong, maganda ba yung tinulong muna? So kailangan ko i-grow yung sarili ko to make sure that the value I'm giving is world class. Now, marami namang tao magagal pero nakalimutan nila yung number two which is to be of contribution which means to bring this value to as many people as I can impact as many people as I can para let the results speak for itself a lot of people the reason why maraming nagiging problema sa buhay is because gusto nila singil agad gusto nila bayad agad hini agad bago ibigay yung value so hindi na siya value tawag na sa kanya sale versus people will always buy anything they will find valuable too question is do they find it valuable number two nakaabot ba sa kanila kasi ako as a person ginrow ko yung sarili ko to improve my value pero number two naghanap muna ako ng maraming taong tutulungan and let the results speak for itself. For me, that's it. Thank you. Coach Ras, living a happy and fulfilled rich life is always remembering who I am. Do you like to know who you are? Yes. I am a beautiful creature of God. So which means if I take a look at on the company name that I founded 12 years ago, it's called I Am Plus. First things first, if you are a Christian, it's really Christ-like, not being Christian, which means it's all about love and compassion. Secondly, if you're non-Christian, maybe I Am Plus is make sure you add value to yourself so you can add value to more people around you. But above all, if you don't believe in adding value, just be positive. Kaya nga may ching, positive. Because you are just like the sun, keep on shining and giving sunlight no matter what. Because your job here is just to be positive in the world. Thank you so much. Ayan. Boss RTD, it's reaching a level where yung ibibigay mo is just an overflow of what you have accumulated. Kasi I truly believe na before you give, you have to fulfill you muna. Kasi you can give without nothing. But I'm here for sustainability. So in order for you to sustainly give, you have to make sure that the person giving may sustain mo. Reach that level. And while reaching that level, masaya ka sa ginagawa mo. Like accumulating wealth, accumulating financial success in the relationship that you have. If your process is your price, you've won. Galing. Thank you so much. Boss Ems? Living a purposeful life is more of understanding what value you want to share sa ibang tao. And then, by doing that, ikaw mismo, mafulfill mo rin. And then, yung value na yun, na pinoprovide mo sa sarili mo, mag-overflow talaga siya. And yun yung mabibigay mo sa ibang tao. So, having that kind of purpose, yung pag Magiging purposeful kasi, ibig sabihin, may gusto kang tulungan, may gusto kang value na i-provide. Hindi lang siya about yourself, it's not just about living your own life na nag-iisa ka na lang. Di ba? Dami mga pera, pero nag-iisa ka lang. It's more of really opening up your heart and giving, providing, and giving value, sharing, and loving others, and full of compassion. Thank you, Boss Ems. Coach, run as fast as you can, push yourself to the limits, and perhaps win a championship, and may, we might applaud, we might celebrate, pero baka ako hindi, hindi pa. Kasi para sa akin, ang purposeful life, if you slow down a bit, turn around, go back to the starting line, and look for the old, look for the weak, look for the disadvantage, look at those who did not get a good hand, hold them by the hand, and then finish the race together. Here na. Kelly, okay. <laughs> Hindi, ano bang ibig sabihin ng purpose sa wikang Pilipino? Purpose, na yun eh. Tama? Full. Ano ibig sabihin sa wikang Pilipino? Punong-puno. Dapat ang buhay natin ay punong-puno ng layunin. So, paano ka mapupuno ng layunin kung hindi mo kilala ang iyong sarili? Galing. Nag- nagigets nyo? Yes. You cannot lead others if you cannot lead yourself. Do you want to live a purposeful life? Yes or no? Yes. Know who you are. Kaya napakahalaga ng discovery session. Tanungin nyo kay Coach Ross, I am plus, you should really know and discover who you are. That's the starting point. Do you want to live a purposeful life? Lahat kayo dito. Yes or no? Yes. I hope and I pray that one day, joining RDR, the group of RDR, joining I am plus, I hope one day, I want to see all of you standing here in front of this stage. Lahat kayo, may karapatan kayo. Dalawa lang pwede natin gawin sa buhay. Kung gusto, gagawa na. Kung ayaw maraming, I thank you.